Hello everyone, this is Mr. Creeps and today welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Fabric for Minecraft 1.20 as well as how to install shaders for it. So I'll be leaving a link in the description to all the websites I'm using, but first we're going to go to fabricmc.net. Um, once you go there you can click on download and it'll bring you to this page. And then if you're on Windows, or this might actually change depending on your operating system, um, you're going to see two different downloads, one specific for your operating system and one for the universal jar, just to make this video compatible with hopefully all operating systems. If you're on Linux or on Mac OS or on Windows, you can click download universal jar. I'm using Microsoft Edge, but even if you're using another web browser, you'll probably get a, um, a warning saying that fabric installer could harm your device. Do you want to keep it anyway? Um, you want to click keep or click download anyways. So we're just going to keep that in our downloads right there. Next we're going to go to modrinth.com and we're going to navigate to Fabric API. A modrinth is an alternative to CurseForge, which I personally like to use a lot more. It's mainly geared towards Fabric, but there's also a lot of Forge mods. Um, so whenever you go to the Fabric API page, there will also be a link in the description to this specific page. You want to click on the latest version. For me, it is 0 0.8 or 0 0.83 and that is for 1.20, so we're going to click download, and we're going to click keep as well. And next we're going to go to irisshaders.net, Shader, Iris and now we're going to be clicking the download universal jar. Iris is the mod which allows you to run shaders on fabric. It also installs Sodium, which is a performance mod, so this is essentially the new version of Optifine, but better. Um, it improves performance a lot more, and Iris is the way to install shaders for it. So we're going to click Keep as well. And then finally, you can run really any shader. You can run um, shaders from older versions, and shaders also compatible with Optifine with Iris. So we're going to be installing the Kappa shader, which has support for 1.20. So we're going to be downloading that. And this is going to download a .zip file. Next, we're going to run our Fabric installer. Now, this might be in your Downloads folder or whatever it installs regularly. I'm just going to install it from Microsoft Edge since I can. It's the easiest way to do so. We're going to make sure our Minecraft version is 1.20 or whatever version we want to install it on, and we're going to click Install. And if you get this message, Fabric Loader for 1.20 or whatever version has been successfully installed, then you're good to go. It's also going to tell you to install the Fabric API, and that is what we downloaded right there. So you can click where we're good already, so now what we can do is we can open this up in its file location and we can just copy that and we can now put that inside our mods folder. I have a, oh whoops that's a lot of mods, let me quickly just delete those. I have a shortcut to my mods folder but that's going to be in whatever your username is, appdata, roaming, .minecraft, and mods. If you've never modded Minecraft before then you're not going to have that folder, you're just going to have to create that folder yourself. Or what you can do is if you're already signed into your user or whatever you can just type in percent sign app data percent sign click on that and that leads to this folder just click minecraft and then create your mods folder or navigate to mods and next you're just going to paste the fabric api mod um, in there as well now you're going to go to your iris installer double click on that and it's going to bring up this little fancy menu what you can do is you can select a game version we're actually going to be clicking fabric install since we have fabric and we're click install. And ex an existing mods folder was found in the selected game directory. Do you want to update slash install iris? Yes. And what you can actually do is I believe if you do not have a mods folder, then you can just, you won't get this message. But since I already created my mods folder, I'm just going to click yes. And it says completed. And the final step that we're going to do is we're going to copy this or cut it or whatever. And we're going to be going back to our mods folder and we're going to be creating a shader packs folder. If you don't have one, create one. If you do, just paste it in there. You're not going to have all of these. I, these are just other shaders that I have installed. And now we have our shader in there. Now all we have to do is just reopen the Minecraft launcher. And if you already have it open, just close it um, and reopen it. And you should have the fabric um, loader on there once this loads. Hopefully, there we go. It'll most likely be the first thing that you see on there, which is kind of cool. So it'll say Fabric Loader and then the version that you're on. And then you can just click Play. So 
So now that we're in game, if everything worked properly, we should see Minecraft 1.20 fabric and modded. What we can do is we can create a brand new world. Um, we can just put in creative and click create new world. And now that we have fabric installed, we're able to go to options and video settings. Um, you should also see that this right here has changed. That is because you installed iris and sodium. Um, sodium allows you to change a lot more settings and it adds this new menu. But what you can do is you go to shader packs and you should see all of the shaders you have installed. Um, I'm going to select Kappa since I just installed that one. We're going to click apply and we're going to wait. And as you can see, we have shaders installed and this is a little bit laggy so I'm going to lower down my render distance. Made a 16. And as you hear, we're running shaders in Minecraft. If this video helped you, then leave a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, then go check out my channel page. And if you really enjoyed this video, it would be greatly appreciated if you were to click that subscribe button. And yeah, see you all next time. Goodbye.